happy Sunday! Isn't it great? It's beautiful outside and here we are going to do our lesson for today. Now Gary says he has a new lesson for me and I have to admit I have no idea what he's going to do. So as soon as he gets here, he's Come been... Come on, Jeff, okay. done. Oh, we've been packing the church because we're Coming moving through. our building. Coming through. Whoa, what, Coming what through. is this? What is this? Finally, it's our last load. This is your last... This is not a load at all. Compared to the rest of them, no. Uh-huh. But what we're going to be doing today is I got some really cool things. Uh-huh. We have the me jar. The me jar, yes. okay. And we got some water. But what I want you to do is take this paper uh -huh. and let me see. You told me you wanted me to write on it. Yeah, it's kind of like write um, friends. Friends. Sports maybe. Things that you enjoy doing. That I enjoy doing. Or our kids enjoy doing. Shopping. Shopping could be one. Video games, watching TV. I don't like video games. What kids I'm not do, good at them. Okay, all right. You're doing that? Okay. I'm going to start putting them in here. Okay. Into the B jar. Shopping, video games? Yeah, video games. Talk out of your telephone. Oh, I do like to do that. You know, uh, you know whatever they think kids like to do, just write them on there. Where did Josh go? Josh, what do you like to do? Um, I like to play sports. Baseball. You like to sports? sports? I, I wrote sports. What else do you like? I wrote, wrote video games. What else do you um, like to do? Work. Eat. You like to eat. Why? Yo, you like to work. That's right. You got a job. He likes the money. Oh, and he likes to drive. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He got his licenses. All right. All right. Drive. All right. How about eat? That works. All right. All right. One more thing. Exercise. Exercise. Oh. We don't like that. I do. I love exercising. Yeah, I can tell. Can you tell? All right. All right. There's a lot of things right there. There is. You know. And Josh likes to do. He likes to do. You all know, right. And, and, and here's Josh. You know, and all of us mm -hmm. at times, you know, this is us. Mm -hmm. And as we're, as we're growing up and, you know, we start filling our lives up with all kinds of stuff. And it might be exercising. It might be watching videos, playing TV. Yeah. You know, all kinds of our friends. And nothing's wrong with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. But the problem is. Because we keep on filling up our glass sometimes with things that maybe are always so good for us or we don't know how to do it. Or sometimes even the things that are good for us take up too much of our time. Right. And that way we forget to we forget about God. And, and we just jump from one thing to the other. I remember uh -huh. I, I was watching a movie called um, Up. Up, yes. I, I love that movie. And, and, and there was this little dog, he goes, squirrel, squirrel. Pay yeah. this color so that I may talk. Squirrel. Yeah. Every time he, and he just kept on changing all the time. Okay. So that's, that's what we do. Because we don't have a whole lot of focus sometimes. So we have this, we like to sing here for a while. Or we like to sing here for a while. Like my daughter in law. Yes. With my grandkids. Like once a year she goes in to her room and she just starts taking all the toys and things you don't use anymore. And she gets them to the care center. Yes. Because we lose interest. Well, that's, that's a good thing to do. You know, that's kind of what we do here. All right. We fill up our, our, our glass mm -hmm. full of things. And again, there's nothing wrong well, with sports. Well, and you know what? Look at all those things Josh told me. And he didn't say spending time with the Lord. Now, I know you spend a lot of time with the Lord, but yeah. we don't think about that when we're when we're no. having these things. But we just kind of fill ourselves up. Yes. And God said is isn't really a part of it. Yes. So what happens, though, if you want to be, God says, you, I am a friend of God. I am a child of God. Mm -hmm. And when we start focusing on those things there, all of a sudden, God becomes the priority in our lives. Well, that's cool. So what, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to take God, uh -huh. and I'm going to put him into my life. Well, wait a minute. That's going to make a mess in that jar. Nah. All right. Well, whoa, look, Josh. Look at what it's doing. Where's the paper? The paper's gone. Well, the paper's much gone. gone. But the paper's in here still. Look at that. I mean, there's no... But what happens is that it's all still there. It is? Yeah, the paper's still there. Everything's all still there. I think you're well, it is it. a little milky, yeah. It is. But the cool thing about it is that now God mm -hmm. is in control of that. God is helping us through. God's helping us with our friends. God, you know, so when we rely on God, you know, we can still watch TV. 
But when we watch it all the time and we don't pray, we don't read our Bibles, we don't do certain things, and we don't include God, like, I got Jesus with me all the time. When Jesus is not there, sometimes those things can get us into trouble. Or we, we get tired of things, or we just kind of, we just don't care anymore. When we put God in control of our life, and we fill Him up in our lives, it takes all that emptiness that was in there, and He fills us right up. Now see, all those things are still there, we can tell by the color. They're still there. But the nice thing about it is that... Isn't that another really cool thing? Because I think about Josh, and I think about how involved he is in ministry. Yep. At his church, you're on the praise team, you're on the leadership team, and you do a lot of praying, and you do a lot of, even at, at school, on my leadership team. And, you know, all these things that we put in here, Josh, God has his hand on it. So you know what that means? Is that God is making and molding you and creating you to be something new in his work. And he's got a special purpose we know already for your life. But that means he's got a special purpose for yours too. So the more God we put in it, the more he molds and makes us. What's that? What are you doing? Oh, I'm just pouring it into somebody else now. Oh. So, so now I can take it and that's mm -hmm. my life there, but I can pour it into other people and I can get them Jesus too. So the more God pours into our lives, the more it's our job to pour into someone else's life. Isn't that called being fishers of men? Yep. And leading someone else to his work? That's it. That is so cool. I gotta admit, you're doing okay. Not too bad. All right, well, what do you think, Josh? I think that's awesome. <laughs> um, like, Step up here so we can hear you better. So when people ask your name, most people may say Josh, but really when we need to get into the habit of saying, because God says we are a child of God, when someone asks you say, I am a child of God and my name is Josh. So if you can get into the habit of putting God first in your life, things, everything that you do, you will see him in it also. So like baseball, I, I play baseball. Then before I play a game, I pray that the game goes good and no one gets hurt. And then we have a great game and then I see, wow, this team we can be together and we can all have fun, but we also get to challenge other people to do something that's incredibly awesome. And then you just see in school, if, you can, if you're able to minister to someone and pour into them, because your story, some people think that, you, that you're a mess, but God turns your mess into a message. So we have to learn from the stuff we've done and what's been going on in our world and do better from that with God. That is incredible. Thank you for sharing. I don't think you could have said it better. That's great. Thanks for joining us today. Now, boys, get back to work. All right? We've got just a good few more boxes. Longer, good All right. Well, you know, oh, Josh, I've got this shirt at home that says, God loves this hot mess. <laughs> Some people say, think I'm a hot mess. I'm out of here. I'm not a hot mess. It's great, isn't it? Thank you.